Tune Diva Hustle Show. Hey, you guys. Thanks for tuning in to the Diva Hustle Show. Today, our guest is Chai Love. She's the CEO and founder of NYA Love and Dating Services. Um, thanks, Chai, for uh, having being on our show. Thank you. It's Chi, by the way. Chi, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Chi. Okay. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. <laughs> all right. So, Chi, uh, tell me a little bit about your background and what made you start your business. Yes. Okay. So I've been matchmaking since I was in the fifth grade. Okay. I enjoyed it. Yeah. There was this game called Mash that I used to play with my friends. And it was marriage, no, mansion, apartment, shack house. Okay. And you'd write down different names of people in the class. And then you would just choose. And by the end of it, you'd have the name of the person you're going to marry if you're going to be in a mansion, apartment, shack, or a house. And I would love playing this game. And it was fun. It was random, but it was fun for me. Okay. And I kept playing, you know, um, but that kind of spilled into middle school and giving dating advice and passing the notes to people in class. Like, girl, you know, he likes you. Why don't you say something? Go talk to him. That was always me. And okay. then in high school with my dating life, things got really interesting. Okay. And I was also giving dating advice to other people. And then it spilled through college. And then that movie Hitch came out. Okay. Yes. And I love that movie. I loved yeah. it. I was like, you know what? I do this now for free. Yeah. Um, so, so I looked into what it would take to become a matchmaker and okay. I live. Yeah. So I was born and raised in Seattle, Washington. I looked up matchmakers in my area and didn't see anyone that looked like me. I was like, you know what? Oh, that, that's it. I have to do this. Right. So I became the first certified professional woman owned matchmaking, black owned business in Washington state. And I'm very proud of that. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. So you work with a specific age range, right? Um, from what, 28 to 68? Yes, I do. However, I don't discriminate. Okay. If you're someone who's generally interested in finding love and you're intentional, I work with singles as young as 25, as old as 75, right? Okay. But between 28 and 68 is typically who work with me, but that's not all. Okay. Yeah. And so what do you feel like some of the main challenges why people are single today? Well, social <laughs> media makes it really easy to be sneaky. I'm just saying. Yes. And yeah. And then the analysis paralysis and then always thinking something better is going to come along, especially with dating apps. Like, oh, you swipe it and swipe it. Oh, I really like this person, but let me just keep swiping and see who's out there. Right. You know, it's this never satisfied for what you have type of feeling that a lot of people got going on. So I encourage people to dig a little deeper, mm -hmm. but one of the challenges is people being able to move forward from their past. Right. Mm -hmm. Past mm -hmm. experiences, a past hurt will create a monster. And mm -hmm. for me to try to present someone who just wants to love you, you're like, you know what? I've been hurt before. Okay. But they just want to love you. Yeah. But all men ain't. Yeah. But he <laughs> just wants to love you. Like I'm telling you, he's intentional. I don't know. It just seems too good to be true. You'll never know until you take that chance. So that's right. another battle. Right. Because not only am I trying to match people accordingly, but I also have to deal with people that are not fully healed or maybe they thought they were healed until they hired me and I'm presenting <laughs> them with everything they want. They're like, oh, wait a minute. Whew, they're for real. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So those are some of my challenges. And I will say that women tend to hire me more than men do. Women okay. tend to know what they're looking for sooner than men do. Now, that's just my personal experience. Okay. But, um, you know, tomato, tomato. Right. Things may look different for other people. I'm just saying, as for me, I would say that women tend to be ready more so than men, especially if they want children, that biological clock, seeing their friends and family pressure, society, it's a whole right. thing. So, yeah. And so how do you feel about like, because even now when you're on like dating sites, they have like, oh, if you want a sugar daddy, I think it's like a dating site for sugar daddy. And if you want to meet rich guys, it's a dating site for that. How, how do that play into when you're matching people? So there's a dating site for everything, right? Yeah. But dating sites cannot equip to, or sorry, they cannot measure up to someone who knows you, right? Mm -hmm. The ins and outs of you. I talk about therapy with my clients, the importance of self-care right. and self-help books. We talk about love languages. We dive deeper. There's only so much you can say in a paragraph when you're trying to get someone to connect with you. So dating apps will always be there. And it works if you work them. Some people don't like that and they hire me to do it. That's fine. Um, but- <laughs> That's never been an issue for me. If anything, I've enhanced people's dating profiles to make them better 
okay. in the dating world when it comes to online dating. Right. I just want them to win, whether it's with me or with someone else. I just want y'all to win. Okay. Oh, hold on. Give me one minute. Hold on. Okay. All right. So um, as you was mentioning some of the challenges um, people are facing now in the dating, the dating site, um, dating scene. Um, how, 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 what are some advice that you give to people? Yeah. So I always tell people to be your authentic self. Right. A lot of people like to lead with things that they don't like, like you can't be this, or I don't want women who this yada, yada, yada. It just makes you seem a little bit too controlling right. in a sense. Like you're trying too hard to let the world know what you're not looking for. Nobody really wants to hear all that. Talk about the things that make you, you people right. want to envision how it would be to date you. Not all the things you're not looking for. So just be yourself and, you know, post pictures that show your personality okay. and make sure, yeah, and respond to your messages, respond to your messages. Yeah. If you're not interested though, honestly, some people may <laughs> think differently about this, but if you're just going to waste their time, some people don't need to know, like, I'm not interested. Just go ahead and delete or block. Just let it go. It's okay. It's yeah. Right. I found that when you on these dating sites, um, I, it, like I won't match with people if, they're like I'm just not interested you're not gonna waste my time and I'm not gonna waste yours like you know what I mean yeah. um it's just right now I feel like with the dating online dating um it's just a lot of people scared to put their true self out there so they come up with these fake profiles and personas of you know I think this is what this person likes mm -hmm. um so yep. you know I know you deal with a lot of that also as match as the matchmaker not so Honestly, not really. My clients okay. are very open and honest with me because they've tried everything on their own and it's just not working. <laughs> so <laughs> when they come to me, they're like, listen, like I had this one guy tell me, you know, he was <laughs> he was in his late 60s. He was like, I'm gonna be honest with you, Chi. I was like, go ahead, sir. I mean, I, I'm your matchmaker. He's like, it don't work like it used to. It just, it's just not working. My thing ain't just thinging like it used to. And I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. So with him, I'd have to match him with a woman who has a lower libido where right. sex is high on her priority list when it comes to dating someone. Like right. I always tell my clients, you can never tell me too much. I'm trying to find your person. Right. Okay. So right. with me, they typically don't lie to me. <laughs> they keep it all the way 100. And I'm like, oh, okay. One of my clients told me when she was having hot flashes, she's like, okay. I don't know if I want to date this week. I'm having hot flashes. I'm like, oh, okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and make a note of that. Just be yourself. Mm -hmm. and be authentic because you don't give people a chance to fall in love with you when you're not being who you are right and so tell me what is can you define for us what is entanglement free you know what is that <laughs> yes <laughs> it is a requirement it is a requirement listen it's okay if you're dating people and mm -hmm. you want to hire a matchmaker because I want you to get yourself out there start getting used to the dating scene whatever the case may be don't just be sitting in your house twiddling your thumbs oh I hope love finds me someday no okay. no you got to go outside so okay. all that to say, entanglement free people are people that don't have people or a person that thinks that they are together in a relationship with. Meaning mm -hmm. if I match you with someone and you're out on a Saturday night, someone's not going to come at the table. Excuse me. I thought we had something or, <laughs> you know, or have a man like truly in his feelings. Right. That's entanglement free. I mean, like you are not entangled. You may be dating, getting to know people, but there's not anyone that you're really entangled with. Right. Is there any individuals where you're just like, you know what, I, it's not, I, you have to turn away. And you're like, it's just not, I can't do nothing for you until you Absolutely. work for yourself. Yes. Yes. And, you know, being a matchmaker, I wear many hats. People, mm -hmm. people have no idea. how much, Like I've been a mother to someone, a sister to someone. I've had to do some serious handholding, but I'm also the type to tell you to brush your shoulders off and get back up and get in there. Right. right. Know who you are. Right. Um, but there are certain people that as soon as I ask you a question, like, what did your last relationship teach you? That woman ain't shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All men cheat. Actually, I'm just tired of it. And then they just break down. Right. I get it. We've all been through things, but you got to learn how to take that pain and turn it into, into power or else right. I can't help you. Cause right. I can be introduce you to someone who's healed and healthy. And you're still thinking about what your baby's dad did or your ex-wife did. And we can't get anywhere. So right. it needs to start within, which is why I partnered with life coaches, therapists, to make sure that my people have everything they need to be successful when it comes to dating. That's excellent. That's really. Um, so could you walk us through the matching matchmaking process? Absolutely. Okay, okay. So I'm really simple. I don't like to overcomplicate things. I'm okay. also a one woman show. So 
for anybody out there, there are other matchmakers that have agencies, right? right. Like a whole agency working for, it's just me. Right. I do all of the calls, the screening, the background checks, the social media follow-ups. Okay. I do it all. Okay? okay. So what that means is I'm not out here wasting your time and I don't want you to waste mine. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and also in addition to that, if you are an impatient person, don't hire me. Okay. I, I don't because I don't have set timelines. Matchmakers always say, oh, no. Okay. Some matchmakers say within six months, I guarantee you this, or within a year, I guarantee, mm -mm, no, or I aim to, no, I will right. do my best to find your person. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow, next week, a month from now, or up to a year, depending on your criteria, but I right. keep it 100 and it takes time. It okay. takes so much time. It's so much time, but it's worth it. You just have to trust the process. So for me, the first step is scheduling a consultation with me. Mm -hmm. And right now for the month of September, I'm offering complimentary consultations. Okay. Yeah. Because you know, fall, I'm going to give you a chance to fall in love. You know? uh -huh. um, yeah. So I wanted to give back because I've been, the last few months have been really successful with me in my matchmaking business. I've just been matching left and right. Happy dates, happy dates. Uh -huh. um, so it feels good. I want to give back. So okay. now what I'm doing is, yeah, we'll sit here just like this on Zoom and we're going to talk about everything, girl, from pets to politics to turn ons and turn offs to deal breakers and things that make you happy, hobbies and things that bring you joy, all of that, right? Mm -hmm. And then after the consultation, I always tell people that there are three packages to choose from, mm -hmm. bronze, silver, and gold. Depending on what you're looking for, those packages are going to mean different things. Many times I will fine tune my packages to match that person because everyone is different, right? You choose your package, you consent to the background check, all is gravy. Now, before I even decide to work with you, you have to submit your love language test to me because it's important for me to know how you love and how you want to be loved and receive love in addition to that. So I need to know where you're at. I just need mm -hmm. to know where you're at. So okay. then the, the search begins. It's really that simple. You have a consultation with me. I keep it 100 with you. Like you're being really unrealistic. Like the woman that always demand the three sixes, <laughs> unrealistic, but I get it. Right. The six feet tall, six pack and six figures. No. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I get it. I get it. But you're getting, you're eliminating so many men that could yes. be really qualified for you. But I understand. I understand. <laughs> Especially for the taller woman. I get it. Trust me, yeah. I do. I'm tall myself. But do not turn your head to a guy that's making 50000 but is a provider still. Maybe right. he has stocks. Maybe he has savings. Maybe he's eligible for a promotion. You know what I'm saying? And then right. the guy's, oh, she got to be she got to be working out and active. Sir, do you work out? I mean, back in high school. No, sir, presently, today. <laughs> so, that's what me. Like, you got the guys that are like, I work, I want somebody to work out. And you look like their belly is hanging over there. Like, I'm saying. <laughs> like, work with yourself first. Yes. Listen, it is okay to have preferences, but be realistic. Right. Be realistic. And right. I'll tell you really quick, like, mm, those are those, there's certain people I'm just not going to work with because you're going to give me a headache. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired having this consultation with you. I don't, it's just not, I'm tired. I'm tired. tired. So in the beginning of my business, I told everyone, like, I was like, yes, I can match you all. You get a match. You get a match. You get a match. You all get a match. I was excited. Right. And then I quickly learned, no, I got to say no. And so I started saying no. <laughs> so I I, yes. I only work with people that I feel the energy with. Like there've been a couple ones. I'm like, oh, it's going to be kind of tough. They're like, you know what? I was searching on the internet for matchmakers. I like who you are. I like how you are. You're the chosen one. I'm like, okay, as long as you're patient enough to wait for the 17 things that are on your list, go ahead. Right. Right. So, and so what's, so what's next for um, NYA, the love and dating services? Are there any new uh, projects or directions that you're taking your business? Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm manifesting my own show. Okay. I, I, I did a reality dating show with the shade room. It was me alongside another matchmaker. It was lit. It was um, lovely, but it was also chaotic because it's reality TV. Right. I had a great experience, no regrets whatsoever, but wow. Um, it would be nice to be on another show. It'd also be nice to have my own show. So I'm manifesting that for myself. I can't say too much, but okay. I'm manifesting that. So just stay tuned on that for okay. sure. All right. I love it. I have to be on there. And so what piece of advice would you give people that are single and that are serious about finding true love? Mm. First off, First off, know exactly who you are and what you're looking for. Right. You got to know yourself. Like, take the time to learn yourself. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. And people, I know this is cliche and people have different thoughts about it, but I want you to love yourself, mm -hmm. love yourself enough that you know how to receive it when it's presented to you. Right. That part. Right. Cause it's like, I want all these things, but Ooh, I don't know. Is this real? Is this real life? Yes. Because there are mm -hmm. people that are intentional just like you, but you cannot, those mental blocks. I can't do anything with that. Mm -hmm. Heal, heal yourself. Healing looks different for everybody. For some people, healing is an ongoing journey and that's okay. Mm -hmm. But just know that if you are right within, mm -hmm. so much easier to accept that love that you've been waiting for. True. So much easier. Yeah. And if people wanted to connect or schedule a consultation, what's the best way of going about it? Where can they reach you at? So for anyone who's interested, if you want to follow me on social media, NYA Love by Chi okay. on all platforms. Um, Chi is spelled C-H-I and that's B-Y, B-Y-C-H-I. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you want to go on my website just to get more information and learn about who I am and what I do, it's NYA love and dating.com. Again, NYA love and dating.com. NYA stands for not your average because I am not. Right. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> just saying, but you know. Oh, I mean, I love it. You know, if you get your show, I'll sign up to be a contestant. I love, I'm here for it. And yes. uh, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's and, do it. You know, anytime you want to come back, you're always more than welcome. Thank you so much. It was truly, truly, truly a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> uh, tune in to, to the Diva Hot Show. Motivate the glow. Think of your mouth and fall. Sleep to my head and toe. I let the whole world know. I let the whole world know.